Father. Lord, we are so thankful that we can gather like this as a band of your people. Father God, not to see one another, although that is fine and wonderful, but Lord, we came to bathe in your presence, the presence of the King of Kings. Lord, we are so indeed grateful, oh God, for this day, on a Wednesday night, that we can come and recognize that we need to come and praise and glorify your holy name. Lord Almighty, may you come and speak to us tonight, oh Father. We know that when we gather in your name, you will never disappoint us. Father God, in a special way, as the songwriter says, let it rain, oh Father. Hallelujah! It's raining on the outside, but we want that rain, a spiritual rain to come. Hallelujah! May you come into the exceedingly abundantly in our midst. May the revelation of your presence tonight be our portion, Father. We glorify your holy name. We bless you, Father. We thank you for who you are and what you made us to be. We love you. We honor you. We thank you, Father, that you never chose us in time, but you chose us in eternity. Amen. We are so grateful, Father. We honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. How many are happy to be in the house of the Lord tonight? Praise God. How many are happy to be in the house of the Lord? Glory. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. Just uh, one or two announcements. Uh, on Sunday, Pastor Brian Naidu will be uh, ministering for us. So let us not forget. Uh, let us bring our tanks so that the Lord can fill those tanks. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And uh, next week, Wednesday, we'll be having our brother um, Martin Mutrana that will be ministering for us. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So let us uh, come prayed up, come expecting. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I was fighting between two thoughts, and the Lord changed my thought just maybe uh, two hours before I was supposed to come to church. So I believe we are going to have a great time. Amen. The notes are in my heart. So when you say amen, you're going to activate what you want to hear from God. Amen. Let us open two portions of scriptures. We open the book of John chapter 3, John chapter 3, praise the name of the Lord. John chapter 3, we read from verses 1 to 7, and we'll read 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 45. Amen. John chapter 3, from verses 1 until verse 7. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a great teacher, come from God. No man can do those miracles thou, thou doest, except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into the mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto you, thee, except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh. That which is born of spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto thee, ye must be born again. Amen. Let us read in the back book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Praise the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. We read from verse 45. Let's just read verse 45 only. And so it is written, the first man Adam was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Praise the Lord. From those two uh, scriptures that we have read, my title will be, When Second is Better Than First. Mm -hmm. Let us go ahead. Mighty God and eternal Heavenly Father, we are so thankful tonight. We have read what we believe to be your way. Amen. We know it takes every healthy man to turn the pages of the Bible, but it takes the Holy Spirit himself to turn the pages of our hearts. Mm -hmm. May you come and speak through me and hear through your children. That at the end of this service, the glory, the honor will come back to you. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. You may take your seats. Amen. When second is better 
31st. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Now, we have read uh, here in the book of John, our first opening scripture, we see that this uh, great man, Nicodemus, came to Jesus by night. And when he was accumulating Jesus, because if you read verse 2, he was accumulating Jesus, telling him that the miracles that you do, no man can do those miracles. But we never hear Jesus saying to Nicodemus, thank you for the accumulation. But we hear Nicod I mean, Jesus saying to Nicodemus in verse 3, where he says, he answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And I want you to underline that word C from verse 3. That word C does not literally mean a physical eyesight. Yes. That word C means to understand. Mm -hmm. Glory to his name. Amen. So when he was saying to him, except a man be born again, he cannot. Actually, we can just put there and say he cannot understand the things of the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Because again, if you read in the book of Ephesians chapter 1 and you read verse 18, the Bible says, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. Now, I want you to understand that he brings the part of the body, which is the eye, and he relates it to understanding. Are we together tonight? Amen. So the part of the body that Paul relates with understanding is the eyes. Now, if you go and look in the book of Luke, chapter 24, you'll find the two brothers that were going to Emmaus, their hearts were uh, downhearted. You know, they were so sad about what happened to Jesus that he died. And when they were on their way to Emmaus, and then Jesus joined them. And when Jesus joined them, he says to them, why are you so sad? Why are you so in distress? And they look to him and say, are you the only stranger in Jerusalem? Don't you know what has just happened? So and the Bible says he walked with them for seven miles. And we can say he walked with them for seven church ages. And they did not know who he was. And in the eighth hour, he went into the house. And the Bible says he took the bread. And Brother Brenham says the manner in which he broke the bread. The Bible says their eyes were open. Come on. Now, I want to say it was not this eyes that were open. Because yes. these eyes were open all the time yes. on their way to Emmaus. Yes. Glory to his name. What happened? It was their eyes of understanding. It was their physical, I mean, not their physical eyesight, but it was their spiritual eyes that came into enlightenment. And Brother Brennan says, when we come to church, what we are looking for is that quickening power can quicken the eyes of our understanding. That is why in our generation, we have been reading the Bible in our denomination. This Bible has been a closed book in our denomination. Yes. We have been reading it and in reading it, we have been baptizing in three titles. Mm -hmm. With this Bible, we caused a lot of chaos. Yes. Women were preaching with the same Bible. Amen. Glory yes. to his name. Yes. But then they had to come, Malachi 4. Behold, I send you, Elijah the prophet. And when Elijah comes, you need this to Amen. bring light to this. Amen. Somebody's not hearing me. This brings an enlightenment to this. That is why Malachi 4 does not preach anything of his own. He just brings an enlightenment to what was written here. That is why if you look, Moses writes the Old Testament by the pillar of fire. And Paul writes the New Testament by the pillar of fire. Then William Branham comes by the same pillar of fire to interpret both the Old and the New Testament. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why today... When you see that picture, I like to give that example where the pillar of fire came as a halo of light on top of the head of Brother Branham. Let me tell you, Brother Branham says, I was just standing there and that light came to the eyes. Because the eyes, it is Malachi 4. Because every messenger, it is the eye to the age. Yes. But an eye is not enough That's true. unless you have got light. That's true. Amen. 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 So we have got what we call in the natural, we have got what we call 2020 vision. Is that right? You can see from a, a distance, you can see a nearby object. But we have got what we call a myopia condition. A myopia, you can see only things that are very close. Come on now. And you've got what we call a hyperopia condition. You can see things that are afar off. Mm. That's why you see elderly people, when they get to an age of 40, 50, they start to read things from afar. Yes, right. Yes. That's true, brother. Is that right? Yes. But let me tell you, as all of these people, the one that has got 20 20 vision, mm. hyperopia condition, and myopia condition, mm. put them in one room and switch off the light. Yeah. All of them 
are blind. Amen. Amen. That's right. Because light is an illumination to vision. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. That is why Brother Brenham had to stand there in 1950 in Husband, Texas. And the light came to the eyes. Amen. And when the light came to the eyes, the Bible then becomes a new book to us. Amen. 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 Is that right? Yes, so now he says to Nicodemus here, <laughs> Except a man be born again, he cannot see. Not in physical eyesight, no, yes, sir. but the eyes of your understanding, that you can understand the kingdom of God. Then he goes on to say that except a man again be born of water and spirit. Now, Nicodemus was born naturally by mother and father. Is that right? But the physical birth brought chaos. Because when Nicodemus was born, he came to the world speaking lies. Yes. When Nicodemus was born, he came with his back turned to God. Yes. When Nicodemus came, he started stealing without anybody teaching him how to steal. Amen. Don't look like you are a saint here. You were born like that. Yes. You were born with your back turned to God. Yes. You came here speaking lies. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why the Bible says, you must be born again. Amen. So the second bed is better than the first bed. Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's why, if you are not born again, Brother Brenham says you can be worse than a dog. That's true. Brother. You can stoop mm. low mm. than a dog. Mm. A man without the baptism of the Holy Ghost. But I like the Bible here. It says he must be born first in water. Yes. And secondly, the Spirit. That now, the word baptize, to baptize somebody, in the Greek word they call it baptizo. Mm -hmm. Now, the word baptizo means to immerse repeatedly. Mm -hmm. So that is what, when you come and you repent, what do we do? We baptize you in water. But that is not the end result. No. You must go. That is why they give an example with the scripture of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, mm. where he says you must be baptized in one body, which is the mystical body of Christ. Mm. Then Paul says that they, that word for you to understand it, he says that you need to take a pickle mm. or a cucumber to turn it into a pickle. Yeah. So he says what you do is now you take a cucumber then you dip it once in boiling water. Amen. You don't dip it three times. You will boil the poor, poor cucumber. Yes, you sir. dip it once, but that is not the end result of making a pickle. Yes. By taking the cucumber and dipping it once into boiling water. You need to take that cucumber that was dipped into boiling water and put it in a vinegar solution. Yes, right. And after you take it out of the vinegar solution, then it becomes a pickle. Now you can take a cucumber and change it into a pickle. But you cannot change a pickle on, back no. into a cucumber. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, it's alright. So we can take a sinner and then we dip him once into water. But that is not the end result of you being the same. You must come through the vinegar solution. Yes, yes, you must come through the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And in the baptism of the Holy Ghost, brother, look, we don't dip you there. We immerse you there until you are changed. Glory. Amen. 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 That's why you don't need church. Come on now. You don't need church. Yes, church is wonderful. Yes. But you need to go more than church membership. Right? Yes. That is why the problem is we baptize people. They came out. They went down a dry sinner. Came out a wet one. Yeah. But we need people that can come through the vinegar solution. Yes. The baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yes. Yes. Because the second birth is better than the first birth. Amen. That's why he says you must be born again. Amen. Then now. We have read again in the book of 1 Corinthians. The Bible says the first Adam mm. was a living soul. Mm. But this one, the second Adam, mm. is a quickening spirit. Mm -hmm. And if we go to the Bible, the first Adam turned life into death. Mm. Amen. Yes. The first Adam turned mm. death into life. Mm. 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 So the first Adam caused the whole human race to go into chaos. Mm. That's why the Bible says, by one man. Mm. But who fell? It was not Adam, it was the woman. That's mm. right. But where does the Bible say by one man? Because God is putting the responsibility upon a man. Yes, sir. Amen. That is why in another message, Brother Brenham says, the husband of the house is going to answer for his family. Yeah. Mm. By one man, sin entered into the world. Mm. Adam sold us. Mm. Adam turned loose the world. Adam, remember that Adam in the Garden of Eden was just, Brother Brennan, in many messages, he will tell you that Adam 
was an amateur god. Yes. Adam was a minor god. Amen. Adam was a little god. Yes. Adam, whatever he says, it is amen. Come on now. Whatever he hires, it's higher. Yes, sir. Whatever he fires, it's fire. But the Bible, the prophet of God says in the message, the bridge, he says, Adam hid to his wife's reason mm. and turned loose the way. And by turning loose the way, all the human race fell into chaos. Shock. Amen. And when they fell, God brought them to the Supreme Court. Yes. He brought them to the High Court. Amen. Then he started to say, you guys have fallen and you have turned loose the way. But I will start with Adam. Come on now. Adam, what have you done? And Adam gave an account. And Adam says, the wife. The wife, the serpent. The serpent was ready to give an account. God did not give a chance to a serpent to account. Because God just looked at the serpent and spoke the word. Mm. And Brother Brennan says the power of the spoken word paralyzed the anatomy, the physiology, and the biology of the serpent. And from being an upright being, he went being a reptile. That is why there is power change in what we say. Amen. You cannot say things negative and accept to live positivity. Yes. And that is the generation we are living in. We are living in a generation of negativity. That's right. Everything around us is negative. Until what we speak becomes negative. You must think positive and speak positive. Amen. Amen. Amongst things that are chaotic, but you must think positive. Amen. 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 Yes. And the serpent was cursed. But remember, there was a scripture that I love. It's in Genesis chapter 3, verse 16. Mm. The Bible says, The seed of the woman yes. shall bruise the head of the serpent. Mm. So even though they fell, they had to come serpent bruisers. Yes. <laughs> come on now. I, I don't know if somebody is hearing me. Even though Adam had fallen, Adam had turned loose the way, but they had to arise serpent bruisers. Mm. But the Bible says, The seed of the woman. But a woman does not have a seed. Mm. Come on now. Mm. Mm. But the Bible says, the seed of the woman. The woman only claims the seed as her own when she receives seed from the husband. Right. Then she can claim that seed as her own seed. Yeah. Is it right? right? That's why the Bible says, the seed of the woman. As the bride, we don't have a seed of our own. We are depending on the seed of our husband, Christ. Yeah. And let me say, well, I'm on that, that when Christ planted the seed in the womb of the bride, the womb was shut. Yes. Amen. Right. Amen. That is why there is no wrong doctrine that can penetrate the womb yeah. of the ground. Yes. 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 I don't care who you are. I don't care how many years you've been in the message. This bride will never be deceived. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. 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 Because the womb Amen. is shut. Yes. Yes. Then Adam can lose the weight. But here is the scripture. The seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent. That scripture must come to pass. Yes. But how does that scripture come to pass? You know what God did, Sister Makanana called, requested a rematch. Mm. Come on now. And in the rematch, Brother Philip, we don't change the names of the players. No, sir. Mm. In the rematch, praise God, I feel excited. Yes. In the rematch, we have the first Adam. Mm. But in the rematch, we just say he's the second. Adam. Amen. But the second Adam, what is he coming to do? To restore what the first Adam had fallen from. Amen. That is why the second Adam is Amen. better than the first. Amen. Amen. Somebody Amen. preach back to me. Amen. 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 The second Adam was more powerful than the first Adam. Yes. Because the first Adam turned loose the way. But this second Adam is not going to turn loose the way. Amen. The first Eve fell. And the Lord the first Eve was predestinated. To Eve never fell because she was a harlot. No, God purposely left the gates open no, in the garden of Eden that the serpent can come in, that these brides can fall, that the redemption can be set into motion. But this second bride, yes. oh, yes. this second Eve, she is predestinated not to fall. Yes. Amen. 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 Let me tell you, brother Luke, it doesn't matter. How many isms comes within our message? Mm. Come on now. Yes, brother. The church can be deceived. Yes. But not the bride. Not the bride. Yes. yes. Amen. 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 The bride will never be deceived. Amen. In another message, Brother Brennan says, her skirts mm. 
will not be defiled yes. by men's doctrines. Mm. Yeah. Her skirts will be kept pure. Mm. Yeah. And, and, and I'm glad to say, I am part of that bride. Yes, yes. I know. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes, Brother Bayham says, this is something that has blessed my heart. Mm. Brother Bayham says, Adam knew Eve in the theophany mm -hmm. Amen. first. Yes. But the serpent mm. knew Eve in the flesh first. Yeah. But Brother Bram says, it doesn't matter who knew you first, first. in the flesh. Mm. He says, who knew you first in your theophany? Amen. Amen. Yeah. Speaking lies with your bed said to God, who knew you first? All right. before, before the devil can grab a hold of you, there was a seed inside of you. Yes. Praise God! And to the story of Abraham says, when you were lying in hospital, mm. the day you were born, he says something came in that hospital room. Mm. The invisible audience was there. Amen. Looking at that scene, he says it came in, Brother Abraham dramatizes it. He says it came into you and said, it's, and it stayed dormant. Yes. But this flesh, the devil grabbed a hold of it first. Mm. You spoke lies. You cheated people. Come on, you were a homonger. Mm. You were a drunkard. Mm. But that was the drama. Mm. 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 Amen. Bring it, Richard. Until that great searchlight came looking for you. Amen. And he came looking for you. Yes. And some of you come from the beer halls. Mm. Some of you come from, from the dancing halls and whatever where you come from. Amen. They wanted to make you the next bishop, but you refused. Why did you refuse? Because there was a seed that was lying inside of you. Yes. And Brother Branham said it was a seed of representation. Yes. Yes, sir. Amen. And when God came looking for you, mm. he found you. Amen. That's why the book of John says, you never chosen me, yes. but I yes. have chosen you. Amen. You never came looking for God, mm. but it was God looking for you. Amen. That's why when you can recognize that God bypassed a lot of thousand scholars, people with PhDs, people yes, with credentials, mm. people who went to theology schools, and God came and showed you the revelation of this message. Hallelujah. Brother Brenham says you've got much to be thankful for. Hallelujah. Yes. You don't have anything to criticize anybody no, or to look somebody down, mm. but you've got much to be thankful for. Yeah. All right. yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So now Adam, before he knew Eve in the flesh. Mm. The serpent knew mm. Eve first in the flesh. That's right. Amen. And when the woman fell, you know, it caused, Brother Bram says, it caused such a chaos everywhere. Mm. But it was, if you are a Christian, you look it on the negative side Amen. and you look it on the positive side. Yes. On the negative side, there was no ambulance. Ambulance has started running up and down. Mm. Come on now. Because of one woman. Mm. Hospital side to be packed because of one woman. But if you look at it on the positive side, with an eagle eye, with an eagle anointing, you can see now redemption mm. coming into motion. Amen. Yes. Because we wouldn't have known God as a healer yes. unless the woman falls. Yes. So the woman unlocked the plan of redemption. Yes. The woman is a catalyst to the plan of redemption. Yes. Without the woman, we don't know who we are. Yes. But without the, with, with the woman, because Every time God does something, I don't know why does he use women. <laughs> Richard, preacher. When, when, when Jesus resurrected, who came first at the supper? The woman. And when the woman, brother Ezra, went and told the hierarchy, the hierarchy didn't believe it. Mm. He said, no man mm. cannot come to the sisters. Mm. It has to be us. Mm. And the, the hierarchy missed the mark. Yes. Because he came to the woman, and it was the woman that testified that he is not dead. Mm. He's alive. He's alive. Mm. Amen. Without the woman, there is no redemption. Without the woman, there is no resurrection. Yes. Amen. Mm. Mm. Then when he fell, there was such a chaos. But God knew what he was doing. You know, God planned such a drama from the mind of God. Ish. And God knew who is going to be part of the drama. Mm. And you and me, we knew. Mm. If you read the message, uh, the God was rich in message, Brother Brown says, we knew everything that was going on mm. in the mind of God. Yes, he says, we were even there participating. Mm. He says, you don't remember it because you were in attribute form. Amen. Then he says, we were the ones that said, Adam, you must go first. Yes. And when you get there, Adam, you must hey. go. Mm. We were the ones that was doing the planning. Right. Mm. Amen. 
And now let me let me move a step forward. When now if plan chaos came in, when chaos came in, there must be a rematch. Amen. That's right. Because second must be better than the first. The first Adam and the first Adam slept for God to take his wife out of That's it. That's right. And the second Adam must sleep also. Amen. Mm. Come on now. So that the wife must come out of him. And I like what Brother Brennan says in the message that day on Calvary. He says, when he was going to the cross, we were actually jumping in him. Amen. Hallelujah. He says, we were rejoicing in him. And when he got to Gethsemane, and he wanted, he was saying, if this is not, if, if it was my will, let this cup pass me. He says, we were dancing in him because we were about to be expressed. Amen. <laughs> A woman that is not going to be like Eve was about to be expressed. Amen. Oh, glory to him. Amen. And when he got to Golgotha, the Roman soldier pissed him on the side. And the bride came out of his side. And this bride is no longer inside of him, but she is standing next to him. Amen. So Calvary, Calvary, the bride was inside. The opening of the seals, the bride is standing next to him. Because the opening of the seals brings a marriage covenant. Amen. 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 Yes. Mm. But now this bride, the end time bride, mm. we can call her the second if. Mm. It's not going to be like that one. Amen. 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 Yes. Because Amen. second is better than first. Amen. 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 Now, let's go into the book of Genesis. If you look in the book of Genesis, you find Father Abraham. That's right. And Father Abraham, God comes to him after so many years. Amen. And Father Abraham does not have a child. Amen. And Abraham not having a child, God says to him, you will have a child. Yes. Amen. But Abraham right. doubted God's word. Yes. Mm. Because when God came, because we only read in Genesis 18 where we see Sarah laugh. Do you know that even Abraham laughed? That's true. Oh, yes. That's right. Mm. Like some of us, when God tells you that you're going to have this and that, sometimes you, you don't really believe it. Yes, that's but I want to teach you how to believe God even in the impossible. Amen. You know, I was reading a message, I said it with Brother Alpha yesterday. Brother Brenham's mother-in-law had a clock that was not working. And Brother Brenham's mother-in-law, Brother Luke, said to Brother Brenham, he says, Billy, I've got a watch that is not working. Go and read it in the uncertain of God. He says, I've got a clock that is not working. But he says, I want the clock to move because I don't have money to buy another clock. He says, when she looked at the clock, immediately after she said it, the clock started moving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, some of you don't believe it. Some of your clocks are not working. You don't even say it. And if, if you can see God in small things, yes. you can see God in bigger things. Amen. Then the prophet says, a few days later, Brother Sipo says, her refrigerator was not working. Mm. I'll read you this quotation the next time. Mm. It says the refrigerator was not working, was not freezing the butter. Mm. That is what the mother said. Mm. And he says, Billy, if God can move the clock, yes. he can make this fridge to freeze again. Yes. Yes. And he says, Lord, won't you make this fridge freeze and defrost the butter and the meat? Hallelujah! Yes. And then he says, a few minutes later, the woman believed her own words. Yes. And she went to the refrigerator, opened the refrigerator, the refrigerator was freezing again. Yes. Let me tell you, child, let us learn to believe God in small things. Yes. Let us learn to believe God in the impossible. Yes. Do you remember in the message, faith is the substance. Brother Bram says to that girl, Make that thing move. Yes. What was it? Was it a necklace? Yes. Yes. He says, make it move. Mm. That girl says it's impossible. Mm. Then Brother Bram says, I can make it move. Yes. <laughs> and Brother Bram looked at that thing and it started moving. Mm. Let me tell you, God can jump into your cell phone that is not working. Yes. And make it work. Praise God. There was a brother. If you read the book, The Generation, mm. this brother was Gerald Cleveland. Brother Gerald Cleveland, Sister Claudia, went to Brother Branham's meetings mm. with a car mm. 
Mm. That had a problem with the master cylinder. That's true. Mm. Yes. Mm. 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 Is it right? Yeah. And when he had a problem with the master cylinder, he traveled to the meetings. And when he was about to go home, Brother Gerald Cleveland thought that maybe it's a Monday. I can find a space that sells the master cylinder. He placed it, drive another 1,500 miles back home. Mm. But Brother Gerald Cleveland realized it's a Monday morning. All the spares are closed. Mm. God likes it that way. Mm. No, yes. To see your reaction. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Mm. Come on now. Yeah. And you know, Brother Brennan, Brother Luke, just met Brother Gerald Cleveland in the restaurant mm. without even knowing him. Gerald Cleveland knew Brother Brennan, but Brother Brennan never knew Brother Gerald Cleveland mm. and even his problem. Mm. And then he went into the restaurant, met Brother Gerald Cleveland, and he said, God bless you, Brother Gerald. Go home, your master cylinder will not give you problems. Mm. And Brother Brennan passed and did what he was supposed to do. <laughs> and Brother, Brother, Brother Gerald Cleveland went into his car, drove 1,500 miles. Oh! How many kilometers? 2.7, 133 kilometers. It's for almost like living here to Cape Town mm. with a faulty master cylinder. But when God gets into the master cylinder, the master cylinder must give you the Lord. Let me tell you, there is nothing impossible with God. All things are possible to them that believe. If God can deal with a master cylinder, how much more about your condition? How much more about your situation? How much more about what you've not done? He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. William Graham, you will have. I mean, uh, Abraham, you will have a son. Mm. And I know I like God, Brother Ezra. He sometimes comes in times when you really <laughs> don't believe it. Yes. When the situation looks hopeless. Yes. Says, Abraham, you are going to have a son. And Sarah, the bride, you know what Sarah did? Mm. The bride disbelieved mm -hmm. God. And said, this promise cannot come through me. It must come through her guy, the bond mate. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says in Genesis 16, verse 5, mm -hmm. it says that then Abram, before he was Abraham, mm -hmm. Abram then took Hagar mm -hmm. to his bosom. Mm -hmm. There was an intimacy, mm -hmm. and a seed was planted, yes, and right. Hagar had a seed. Mm -hmm. And who was born? Ishmael. When Ishmael was born, let me tell you, everything in the house of Abraham was good. There was no problem. Come on now. They would send Ishmael to the shop. I'm just trying to bring it in a modern day way that you can understand. They would send Ishmael to the shop. They would do this and this with Ishmael. But Ishmael, remember, was not the perfect promise. Son. Amen. Until one day, in Genesis 18, when Abraham was in the place of Mount in Hebron, then he sees three balls of fire coming down, taking on 16 elements, taking on 16 elements and, and bodies, walking towards the house of Abraham. And then Abraham bowed to one and said, My Lord, and he made a promise there to say, I will visit you mm. according to the time of life. Amen. And Sarah will have a son. Mm. Sarah then laughed. Sure. Mm. And when Sarah laughed, God did not maybe fulfill his promise because somebody mocked his word. Mm. God continued with his word. Oh, Amen. Amen. <laughs> but this is where I'm going yeah. to cut the long story short. Mm. Sarah conceived mm. and bare a son mm. and his name was Isaac. Mm. And if you read Genesis 21, mm. he says when Isaac became of age, mm. Sarah the bride saw mm. Ishmael mm. mocking. Yes. Yeah. But remember, who said Abraham must go to Hagar? Yeah. Who suggested it? She suggested it. Mm. And Abraham, if you read your Bible, wanted to dispute with Sarah because Sarah was casting out now the bond woman and the son. Yes. And Abraham says, no, you can't cast them. This is my seed. Yes, sir. And the angel of the Lord came in the house of Abraham and told Abraham, hearken unto the voice of Sarah. Yes. Because Sarah is the final voice yes. to the final age. Yes. Oh, yes. Glory yes. To God. Yes. Who is the final age today? Yes. The bride yes. is the final voice yes. to the final age. Yes. That is what Russia has got no answer, but we have the answer. Yes. China has got no answer, but we have the answer. Yes. Because we are the final voice. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Yes. Preacher, preacher. Says, listen, listen to her. And 
It was heavy on Abraham. Mm. Yeah. And Abraham had to chuck some lunch box, the Bible says, some water. Mm. Because he was a responsible father. Mm. <laughs> he was a responsible father. Yes. Even if you had a child, before you come into the message, mm. you must take care of the child. Right. Mm. Mm. You must be a responsible yes. Yes. father. Yes. That's right. Then take the lunch box, give it to Hengai and Ishmael, mm. and send them away. Mm. Yeah. And when he sent them away, he says the heart of Abraham was grieving yeah. because of the firstborn that was going. That's right. Naturally. Mm. But why was Sarah casting the bond woman? Then it fulfills what Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, if I'm not wrong. When the perfect has yes. come, yes. that which is in part yes. will be done Hello. away. Yes. When second comes, mm. then we can do away with the first. Yes. Because second <laughs> is better than first. Yes. 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 Israel yes. was not the perfect yes. promise son. But who was the perfect promise son? It was Isaac. Yes. Mm. And in Isaac, that's where the seed will come. And if you read Genesis 25, maybe let's read it together. Mm. Genesis 25. Mm. When now Abraham was distributing the inheritance. Yes. Oh, praise God. Mm. Then verse 1. Then again Abraham took a wife, and her name was Keturah. Mm. And she bare him Zimram and Joksham and Midian and Midian and Ishbak and Shua. And Joksham begat Sheba and Dedan. And the sons of Dedan were Ashurim and Lethusim and Luminium. And the sons of Midian. Okay, let me jump. Verse 5. And Abraham gave all that he had unto whom? I did. I, verse 6. But unto the sons of the concubine, including Hagar, mm. which Abraham had, Abraham gave gifts. And send them away while he had lived eastward unto the east country. Mm. So, what did he do? He gave them gifts. Yes. Pentecostalism. Mm. And you can have tongues, mm. good singing, yeah. away. Come on now. <laughs> but unto Isaac, he gave all. Oh. Yes. And who is the type of Isaac? It is Christ. Yes. yes. Mm. 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 You know, yesterday I was fellowshipping with Brother Becker over the phone. I was telling him about this thought that I had. Then he said, did you know that David was better than Uriah? Mm. Mm. Even though, I mean, if you, if you see, the things of God are impossible to believe in. Mm. This man, David, was a king. Yeah. But he plans, he plots Uriah to be in the forefront of the battle, mm -hmm. and then he stays home. Mm -hmm. And what happened? Uriah was going to be killed, yeah. and Uriah died in battle. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. And when Uriah died in battle, then David went into Bathsheba. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But right. David is better than Uriah. Mm -hmm. Because in David, where did the seed of Christ come from? Oh, That's yeah. right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so if you trace David, the lineage of David, mm. somewhere, somehow, it brings now you and me. Mm. 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 But we are not counted in the lineage of Uriah. Yeah, yeah. But David is better than Uriah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Mm. Amen. That is why right. in Isaac shall thy seed be, then he gave Amen. all. Mm. That is why, brother, we have mm. all. Amen. Mm. Amen. We don't have gifts. We have gift plus. Mm. Mm. Amen. Amen. No. That's why we are not denying the gift. Mm. The right. gifts must be tested yes. by the way. Yes. The gifts must come to the Urim and Thummim. Mm. If you're going to dream, you know there are people today in the message, they like dreaming. Mm. <laughs> bring it, bring it. Because a lot of dreams. Hey brother, I dreamt this, I dreamt this. You are good. I said, let me bring your dream back to the Urim and Thummim. Yes. If the Urim and Thummim does not flesh, yes. it does not matter how much your dream makes sense. Yes. As long as it doesn't flesh, I'm sorry I'm not going to take your dream. Yes. Yes. That's why the prophet of God says, gifts are wonderful. He says, you have got any Thing. Come early to church and see the elders of the church. That's right. In the back room. Let mm. us examine your gift. Mm. 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 And that's why sometimes we will tell you, brother, wait. Mm. Let's mm. pray about it. Amen. Amen. The same thing in a church. Mm. Sometimes a brother comes and says, Brother, I want to pass, I want to get married. Then we say, wait. Mm. Amen. Preacher, preacher. Mm. Wait. Hallelujah. Let's look into you first. 
Mm. Yes. Let's watch your life. Mm. Let's give you time for a while. Mm. Are you even paying your time? Mm. Pretty preacher. Mm. We don't want to give our daughter to a thief. Come on! And the sister is there, desperate. Oh, the pastor is not dealing with my situation, sister. Ah. My, 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 my. <laughs> Yes! You don't know what you are getting yourself into. Mm. Relax mm. and let go to your knees. Amen. Amen. God did not put that pastor in there for no reason. Yes. He knows what he is doing. Yes. Whatever that you bring, we must take it back with the way. Yes. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Some brothers have got money. They are qualified to get married. Mm. But when you look in the way, mm. they are not qualified. Yes. We just say, no, wherever you wait, my brother. Mm. That's right. We see that you are, you are well sorted, but for now, mm. Wait, wait, mm. wait. And when you wait, after you've waited, then we can come back and say, No, brother, we think that you can take the right decision. Mm. Let me tell you, church, in waiting, majority of the times, that's where we get our answers. Right. Because majority of the times, we don't wait. Mm. That's why the Bible says, They that Wait, Wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. Hey, the problem is the waiting period. People don't want to wait. wait. Amen. That's why the songwriter says, I don't mind waiting. Wait upon the Lord. Amen. Preacher, preacher. I'm sorry to step on your toes, but oh, oh. that's my job. <laughs> now, let's see again when second is better. Than first, mm. we see in the Bible there is a man called Elijah and Elisha. Mm. And Elijah was a wonderful prophet. Mm. Uh, the, the Bible does not tell us much of his background, mm. it just says Elijah, the Tishbite of the inhabitants of Gilead. Mm. And he says, Elijah, when there was no rain, he, he just went straight to the White House and told Ahab, mm. There will be no rain or dew mm. until I call for it. Yes. And God said to him, Go to the brook called Cherith, stay there. I've commanded the ravens to feed you there. Mm. And when he was there, the ravens came in the morning to give him breakfast, mm. and they will come in the evening to mm. give him dinner. Mm. And you know, it is above the human thinking. That's true. Bro. That a raven mm. can be obedient mm. Come on now. Mm. <laughs> to come and bring you breakfast <laughs> and bring you dinner. Mm. That's why, church, as the economy is crumbling, Amen. Down, yes. don't worry. Hey! Don't be upset. Yes. Yes. Don't stress. Yes. Hey! That very same salary that you earn, yes. God will still earn on it. Yes. Your raven. Yes. We'll come through Amen. and give you what you want. Yes, no, yes. I believe that you. Yes. Amen. Then Brother Brandon says, when he reads that scripture or quotes in that scripture, he says, there will come a time mm. when sons of God, yes. born sons, yes. feel sons, yes. when they speak the way yes. and God will perform it. Yes. 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 And let me tell you, that time is now. Yes. No. When the dynamic spoken word yes. can go and fetch what we want and bring it back to us. No. Hey. When the brother says, I want yes. rain, yes. then we say, Brother, I give you rain in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. And rain comes from the angel of time. Yes. Petrol is increasing. Yes. But we are not controlled by the economy yes. of South Africa. Yes. I'm controlled by another economy. Yes. Preacher, preacher. And some of the things that you start complaining about, yes. they fool you. Yes. yes. You attract <laughs> what you think about. Preacher, preacher. Yes. Yo, that's right. Like if a woman says all men are dogs, mm. guess what? Mm. It's gonna every, get dogs. Woman, <laughs> every man that approaches yeah. her yeah. will be like a dog. Yeah. Because what you say and what you think, that's what you attract. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but if you tell yourself, oh, they say petrol in April will be 40 rands, mm. I'm a believer. Mm. Yeah. I will still put full tank to church. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Then they say, but, Amen. but how? And the people try to discourage you mm. and try to run you down. Mm. Then you refuse mm. to be discouraged. Amen. There was one friend of mine who preached a message many years ago, refused yes. to be discouraged. Yes. yes. You know that woman, that uh, Serphenicia woman in the book of Matthew chapter 5. Mm. You know that woman had a child that was dying, Brother Luke. Mm. That child was dying. That's right. And that woman told the child, baby, I'm going to Brenham Smith. 
Oh, sorry, to Jesus. Mm. Amen. But when I come back, mm. you are going to be fine. Mm. Amen. Look to this. This woman went to the meeting. Amen. And when she got to the meeting, Brother Philip, mm. who discouraged her? Mm. Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Mm. Come on now. Mm. See, some of you are not saying it. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Jesus discouraged the woman. That's right. The woman. Oh. Says, no, 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 I don't have time for dogs. Yes. And that woman says, refuse yeah. to ah, be yeah. discouraged. Yeah. 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 It's fine. Yes. But the dogs yes. eat. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The crumbs yeah. that falls from yeah. the master's yeah. table. Yeah. Yes. As a believer, brother Hillary, you need to refuse yes. to be discouraged. Yes. No. When brother say, brother, it cannot happen. Hey. Look at your bank account. Look at this, that, and the other. Say, I refuse Amen. to be discouraged. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. When situations are bad, when the economy is crumbling, you refuse to be discouraged. Amen. 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 I refuse to be discouraged tonight. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you're trying to tell me. Don't tell me how much the economy is coming and the price of oil is increasing. I refuse. I'm controlled by an economy. Elijah was fed by the raven. And when the brook was dry, God said, Ravens, thank you very much. You've done your job. Mm. Now you, Elijah, mm. go to zero path. Yes. Mm. I have commanded a widow woman Amen. to feed you there. Yes. Mm. And when Elijah walked, Brother Bram in the message, Elijah and Elisha, he says, when Elijah walked into that house, mm. yes. he says, there was nothing left. Amen. Yes. A widow with nothing. nothing. Yes. Hey! She only had the last meal you. and the last oil. Mm. And Brother Bram says, that, that meal was representing the word and the oil was representing the Holy Spirit. Because you, you cannot take the word alone without the Holy Spirit. Yes. You need to take the word together with the Holy Spirit. Yes. Put it together. Yes. And he had two wood. He put them in a cross, in the form of a cross. Yes. And he put the word and the spirit on top of the cross. Amen. Mm. So he says, I've got the last meal. Mm. It is for me and my child. Mm. We eat today, brother mm. Peter, and we die. Amen. And then the prophet said, you give me faith. Yes. Come on. That's gosh. where a lot of believers. Oh, Amen. 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 That's true. Amen. Give me uh, first. Mm. Mm. Preacher, preacher. Can I be pastoral tonight? Go on. Mm. Go on. When you get your salary. Yes. The first thing that you need to do. Mm. The first. Yeah, because already the devil has attacked your salary. Yeah. Mm. Text, text, you have paid already the tithe yes. to the devil. Mm. But when your salary comes in, before you can pay you whatever, 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 mm. take your salary to God. Amen. Because if yes. you don't do that, Amen. you know what's going to happen. You're going to pay this, then you can let Oh, that's true. That's true. Yes. It's a fact, Pastor. Amen. And then after that, the Bible says if you did not pay your time, when you have to pay it again, it must be a certain percentage that must come with the one that missed. Yes. Thank you, right? That's we'll read the scripture for that one. Thank you, right? Then Brother Ezra must tell you, no, brother, last month you didn't pay. So you must bring it now with double. Because why? You didn't good go first. And the problem we have today is that majority of the problems we have is because we didn't give God. Absolutely. That's true. That's why we get short. That's why this is not working. This is not working. Children in the car. After the car is something else. Why? God was not first. That's why Jesus says, seek it. First, yes. the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these other things will follow you. Joy! That's right. The prophet says, woman, give me first. first. Because the prophet was the mouthpiece of God. Mm. So if the woman was questioning the prophet, mm. the woman was becoming a foolish woman. Yes. yes. Because questioning the prophet is like questioning God. That's because true. the prophet speaks on behalf of God. That's yes. right. Then that woman gave the prophet first. Mm. After he gave the prophet Every time, then Brother Brennan says that the woman got a secret code mm. to the cupboard. Yeah. Mm. Every time that woman was going to the cupboard, the millimeter was not running dry. Mm. The cruise of oil was not finished mm. because the woman, mm. what did she do? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Lord, when you preach like this, you feel some resistance. Mm-hmm. Go on. But let me tell you, there is nothing but. Okay. Yes. Amen. Amen. Some of our struggles and some of our sicknesses and some of the things that we go through, we wouldn't be going through it. That's right. Amen. If we were to put God. Amen. Yes. No. Yeah. Absolutely right. But now, there was a man that came. I'm trying to prove when second is better than first. This man, his name was Elisha. But he was always going with Elijah. Then one day, this man, Elisha, said to Elijah, or rather, Elijah said to Elisha, I'm going to Jericho. Please remain here in Bethel. Then he says, no, I'm not going to remain here. As the Lord liveth, I'm going with you. Again, Elisha was refusing to be discouraged. Amen. You know, sometimes people, brother Alpha, think discouragement is going to come from a ZCC member. No, no sir. It's going to come from a right here. Yes, 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 true. <laughs> sometimes it will be your pastor That's true. who will discourage hey. you. Remain, remain here. God has sent me there. Don't come to church. Watch Netflix. Hey. So, <laughs> don't bother coming to church. It is raining. Mm. You are a weather Christian. Remain at home. <laughs> <laughs> Who is discouraging you? Your pastor. Mm. But if you are a real believer, you refuse yes. to, be to be discouraged. Amen. You say, Pastor, even though it's raining, yes. I, I, at least I've got an umbrella. I will make my way. Hey! Hey! No. Then Elijah said, As my soul lives, I'm not remaining yes, here. Sir. I'm going with you. Mm. Amen. Then they got to Jericho. Elijah still did the same thing. Remain here. Mm. God has sent me to Jordan. Mm. He says, no, no, no. I'm not remaining. Oh. And then until Elijah asked Elijah, he says, buddy, mm. where is it that you want? Mm. He says, I want the double portion of your spirit. Yes. Then he says to him, when you see me, go. Mm. Yes. Let me tell you, you cannot see him mm. go mm. when you've got anger, mm. malice, Mm. Strive, mm. hatred, mm. instead of reading the word, oh, you are man. busy with Netflix on. Mm. Right? Come on now. You know all the series of the movies and hey. the church say amen. Amen. Yes. 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 You can see him go. Yes, sir. When we are talking about John the Baptist, you are thinking we are talking about John Cena because hey. that is what you are feeling off. You don't love anybody, yet you want to see him go. You can't see him go. Come on! But how do you see him go? You see him when you are consecrated, when you are on your knees, when you are listening to your text, when you are reading your Bible. When you are ready to get close to God, read your Bible and pray every day. Brother never ask us to be vampires and, and bring blood over our voice. No, sir. No, read your Bible and pray every day. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Satan Amen. has crept in. Mm. You know what the devil has done? Mm. Gave a cell phone. Mm. The first thing you do when you wake up in the morning, cell phone. That's, That's the witch, my brother. That's the witch. Satan, 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 Satan. Update. Yes, for sure. Now let me ask you: Did you pray? Did Come you pray? on now. Pray? Come the on brother now. Brother, I just heard that he went to sleep last night. Mm. He was healthy. Mm. He ate with everybody mm. in the morning. God. Mm. Mm. But you wake up mm. because God still has a purpose. Mm. Mm. Can't you just come out of your bed? Yes, sir. Raise your hand. Amen. Amen. Leave the cell phone alone. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You will attend to it later. Mm. Don't have a blessing. I don't know who I must pray for. Let me tell you how many are we here tonight. Mm. Yeah. Come Pray on, the now. names of this brother. Mm. Pray the name of brother. Come. Yes. You go, you go, and Sister Makana, yes. and Sister Masho to the other corner. Yes. You write our names mm. and you start mentioning our names. Wow. And the more you pray for us, Amen. then God opens doors yes. for you. Amen. Elisha, if you see me, go. go. Amen. And when Elijah was about to get into the chariot, and the chariot was about to swing low. Mm. Then the Bible says, Elijah ran off his mantle. And the Bible says that Elisha grabbed a hold of the mantle of Elijah. Mm. But listen to what the Bible says. He says, he, Elisha, ran off his own mantle. Because when second comes, it is better mm. than first. Yes. Mm. He had to take off 
that mantle and put on the garment of Elijah. And with the garment of Elijah, Elijah with his own garment did eight miracles. But Elijah with the mantle of Elijah did 16 miracles. Yes. Yes. Because when second comes, things must happen. That is why one of these days we are going to take off this body. And we are going to receive another body. And this body must make way for another body. For oh, glory to God. And according to the blessed assurance policy, there is a point that is waiting for us. And that body has got no wrinkles in it. That body has got no false teeth. But that body is perfect. And brother Brenham in the message, who is this Melchizedek? He's saying, when you are here on earth, you are going to take this body to pick up your theophany. Mm. 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 Sure. And when you are in your theophany, you come to pick up your redeemed body. Amen. And we meet the Lord mm. in the air. Amen. When second is better than first. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, church. We are about to leave this world. Amen. 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 And get into this perfect body called our theophany. Amen. And I want to say tonight as you're going to pray, Amen. let us stop with churchianity. Hallelujah. Come on, what's Lord? Let us stop yes, with Lord. playing church. Yes. Let us stop acting like we are believers and mm. 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 Amen. Amen. Time is fast spent. Hallelujah. This, this is not the time to play church. Mm. This is not the time to be lovey dovey. No. Mm. This is the time to get in seriousness yes. with God. Amen. And I'm telling you tonight, we are a blessed people. Amen. That when we come to the house of the Lord, God can rebuke us. Amen. But we are so blessed yes. that God is amongst us. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Let me bow our heads. When second is better than first. Remember, in the Old Testament, Brother Brian teaches us that redemption has got two parts. Yes. It is the coming out of and the going into. Yes. Moses, with the first part of redemption, he called them out. Mm. It was fine to recognize Moses, but that was not the all. Yes. You need to see Moses. But Moses only takes you out, but Moses does not take you in. Yes. It is Joshua that takes you into the land. Yes. So we are about this Joshua, the baptism of the Holy Ghost, it is placing us in the land positionally. Let us quit playing church. With our eyes closed, let us hell be reverent for a while. Maybe tonight, let it be a different night. Amen. Maybe you are here. You are not sure whether you've got the Holy Ghost. Just raise your hand if you're not sure. That you don't have the Holy Ghost. Just close your eyes. Don't look around. And if you know that you don't have the Holy Ghost, raise your hand. And maybe if you are here and you say, Lord, I need a refilling of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. You can raise your hand. Yes. This is time to get in seriousness with the Lord. Praise God. Mighty God and eternal Father. We love you tonight. We love you, Lord. We glorify and bless your holy name. Amen. Lord, we have came to one conclusion that it was not our love for you, but it was your love for us. You loved us first before we even loved you. Our choice here on earth in choosing you was within us. Hallelujah! Lord, we came to the sacred part of the service, the ministration of the way. The children of God have raised their hands. Lord, a noble request is that some are not even sure whether they've got the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Some, Father God, they want the refilling of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Let this be a night, O oh God, a different night altogether, where you descend from heaven right in this room where we are at tonight and fill them with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Because the prophet of God told us that it is absolutely essential, yes. necessary, compelling, and compulsory that we receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Otherwise, we are not going to meet with you. Lord, we are raising our hands. We say, 
Won't you pass our way tonight? Won't you hear our humble cry tonight? Savior, Savior, hear my humble cry. Father, God, pass us tonight as we are reaching out to you, Father. May you come and fill us and refill us with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. May we be better husbands from this day forward. May we be better wives as we leave this place. May we be better bosses at work when we leave this place, oh God. May we be better individuals, Father God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Won't you come, oh God, and refill us with the baptism? baptism of the Holy Ghost like never before. Lord God Almighty, when we when you appear, we want you to see you like you are. We want to see you, Father God, like we are, Father. Because when you are coming to us, oh God, you are going to rapture the way. You are not going to rapture church members. People that are close to the realms of the message. Oh God, but you are coming to the people that are filled with your spirit. Yes. Jehovah, we are so thankful. May you come, Father God, and do something for us tonight. As we, Father God, raise our hands, as we say, Lord, feel us tonight, feel us tonight, feel us tonight, O God. Saturate us with all your anointing, O Father. If there is anything in our heart, we are saying like yes, David, O God. God, search me, O yes. God, and know my heart. Cleanse me from every sin and make me yes. pure. Yes. We are so thankful, Father. Do something for us. Take us to higher heights in your way that we can realize who you are and what you've made us to be. We are so thankful, Father. Won't you come our way, Father? Do something for us. Feel us tonight. Feel us, Lord. Yes. Feel us, Lord. Yes, Lord. We can't do without this Holy Spirit. Feel us, Lord. Come down in a special way. Feel us, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we stand on our feet, as you put your hand around somebody seated next to you. 